Today, you're going to test your knowledge of English vocabulary with this advanced vocabulary quiz. Now, this is a quiz that I found online that was assessing if you're ready to take this college program. So if you can pass this quiz, well, then you can take this college program in English. Are you ready? Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's get started with this lesson. So here's how the test will work. I'll show you the question and you'll see the multiple options. Now, I'll only show it for a few seconds, so hit pause, take as much time as you need, and when you're ready for the answer, hit play. I'll share the answer, and I'll also explain why that answer is correct. Are you ready? Let's get started with question number one. There are about 20 so people waiting in the office. And the answer is, or so. There are about 20 or so people waiting in the office. Now, this is just an expression. We use or so to mean approximately, around. There are around 20 people, approximately 20 people. But notice the word order. There are 20 or so people compared to there are approximately 20 people. So the sentence structure is a little bit different, but this is a great casual expression to have in your vocabulary. I have 10 or so emails to reply to. I have approximately 10 emails to reply to. Question two, there was a problem with the cell phone, but I, it now. but I have fixed it now. I fixed it now. We need the present perfect verb tense because we're talking about a past action that's complete. The cell phone is fixed right now. So the action is complete, but there is a result in the present. We know that because of the keyword now, but I've fixed it now, now. When we're talking about a past action with a result in the present, the best choice is the present perfect. If you want to learn more about the past simple and the present perfect, I made a video on this. You'll find the link in the description below. Question three, I think going to the coast this weekend be a good idea. And the answer is would be a good idea. Would is the best choice because we're talking about a hypothetical. It would be a good idea to go to the coast. If you change the word order, you can see that it would be awkward and unnatural to say it should be. It should be a good idea to go to the coast. We use should with recommendations or advice. You should go to the coast this weekend. I'm recommending that to you. I'm advising you. But when we're just talking about a hypothetical, would is the best choice. Question four. The thing, once a film gets a bad review, it's hard for it to do well. The thing is, the thing is, this is an expression we use in English. We use it before we introduce an idea. The thing is, I don't think you should go to the coast this weekend. So it's just an expression that we use and based on the options, is is the only possible choice to complete this expression. Question five, I, some old drawings when I was cleaning out my closet. I came across, 
I came across some old drawings. The phrasal verb to come across something is used when you find something accidentally. I wasn't looking for the drawings. I found them accidentally. Oh wow, look at these drawings. I haven't seen them in years. I had no idea they were here. Based on the context, the only expression that makes sense is came across. Number six, she managed to play tennis despite a sore arm. And the answer is despite having a sore arm. After despite, you need a gerund verb because despite is a preposition. Despite having a sore arm. Number seven, longer do we need to file that form? And the answer is no longer. No longer do we need to file that form. This is an alternative structure to saying we don't need to file that form any longer. If you use the expression we don't need to, you need the choice any longer because we don't use double negatives in English. So you couldn't say we don't need to file that form no longer. That doesn't work. But if we're starting with no longer do we need, because do we need is a positive, you're making it negative with the choice no. This is simply an alternative sentence structure. To be honest, the more popular or common sentence structure is we don't need to file that form any longer. Number eight, they are to have arrived already. And the answer is they are supposed to have arrived already. The expression is to be supposed to. They are supposed to have arrived already. Based on the sentence structure, the only possible choice is supposed to. A lot of students make mistakes with the expression supposed to. I made a lesson on this topic. I'll leave the link in the description below. Number nine, by the time they, at the concert, the tickets were already sold out. And the answer is, by the time they turned up at the concert. When a person turns up at or to a location, it means they arrive at that location. So if you're at a party, you could ask someone, when's Julie supposed to turn up? When she's supposed to arrive? It's simply a phrasal verb, and based on the options, this is the only expression that makes sense. Number 10, I was able to get to the top of the mountain. And the answer is, unfit as I am. This is a useful way to describe yourself or to describe a situation. Beautiful as it was, I didn't take a picture. Smart as he is, he didn't pass the test. Number 11, I'm 100% certain that everything okay in the end. And the answer is, I'm 100% certain that everything will be okay in the end. We use the future simple, will be, when we're making predictions about the future. Now, even though I say 100% certain, it's still making a prediction because I don't control the future. The outcome of the future is still unknown and I'm making a prediction of the future. Number 12, as a cab driver, I, but I'd love a bigger paycheck. And the answer is, I get by. I get by, but, I love a bigger paycheck. By putting in paycheck, I know we're talking about money. 
And the expression get by in terms of finances, we use that when you're just able to pay for everything you need, but you don't have very much left over. I get by, I get by. Question 13. I don't want to spend the weekend with her. And the answer is much as, much as I enjoy her company. This is an expression and it's the only grammatically correct choice and the best choice based on the options. Much as I enjoy her company. Now notice, much as I enjoy her company, that's a positive, but then the next part of the sentence is a negative. I don't want to spend the weekend with her. So this is a great transition sentence that you can use. Much as I enjoy studying English, I don't want to spend my whole weekend doing it. Number 14, the fact of the is our company has to increase its revenue. And the answer is, the fact of the matter is, this is an expression, the fact of the matter. Based on the options, this is the best word choice to complete this expression. The fact of the matter is, and then you state your clause. The fact of the matter is, I need to improve my English. And finally, question 15, the company has doubled its revenue it still has a lot of problems to overcome. And the answer is, however, it still has a lot of problems to overcome. All of these options are transition words. The only transition word that's used for a contrast is however. And notice this is a contrast because idea one, the company has doubled its revenue, that's positive. But then idea two, there are still problems to overcome, well that's negative, right? So we're dealing with a contrasting situation. However, if you want to learn more about transition words, you can look in the description for a link I have on a separate video. So how'd you do on this advanced vocabulary test? Make sure you share your score in the comments below. And if you got any wrong, just do some practice so you feel more comfortable with them. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying.